up YouTube, Matt Morozik aka MVM397 with one of three unboxing videos for you tonight. Uh, all from the same place, Industria uh, Industri Mechanica, run by Mr. Michael Fitchenmeyer, um, aka Fitchenfu, Master Fu, whatever you want to call him. Anyway, uh, got a couple kits from him. I'm going to do these in three separate videos. Um, if you haven't checked out his website, check it out. I'll set, put a link down below. It's called Industria Mechanica. Nothing Gunpla related, but a lot of cool subject matters. I've got a few of his kits, and uh, they've all been really, really pretty nice. Um, so um, there's a couple. There's three that I picked up that I've been wanting to get. The first one is the Waldo. Um, this is a really cool design. Um, it's a, it's kind of a smaller version or smaller kind of a addition to a, a previous kit that's on his website called the Remora. Uh, it's based off a, a, an artist uh, painting or artist designed by Ian Mc, uh, McHughes and uh, if you haven't looked up his work check it out it's really cool so it's kind of this I don't know think of uh, Fifth Element um, sushi barge <laughs> the scene where Bruce Willis is, is ordering sushi from the or, or, or noodles at his window uh, when the guy flies up in his kind of boat and he's ordering food it's that kind of feel it's futuristic, it's kind of uh, industrial, weathered, it's just a really cool look. So I got the Waldo, um, which is a pretty, it's a relatively small kit, it's a 135th scale. Here's a picture, this is uh, the, th I think this is the Fitch and Choose, uh, Mike's, Mike's build right here on the box, and it uh, looks like it's been a little stylized, maybe a little bit in Photoshop, um, but I think this is his build um, that's on the cover art here. You can see here that I've got uh, the third edition this is the 21st kit out of 50. So this is the third time they've run this kit. Um, gives you a list of all the stuff. Uh, you can read it there. What comes with it. Uh, so let's open this up. I haven't seen it yet. First thing is the instructions. One thing I like about Mike's kits are the, is the presentation. Um, it's always packed really well. Nice boxes. Uh, very well wrapped. Instructions are really clear. Super simple to follow. Um, and this is simple, simply two, basically a two-sided piece of paper that shows you the steps. So, and one thing that's really interesting about this kit is that the uh, the wheelhouse is uh, all PE photo etch, which is really kind of cool. Uh, I should say the main part is photo etch. There's some resin walls and stuff, but a lot of photo etch in this kit, which gives a lot of cool detail. It does have an actually uh, a real wooden deck, which is cool. Um, which is one another, another reason why I want to get this kit. Comes with a lot of cool details. Um, it comes with the the figure, and you can go you can really detail these out to the nines. Uh, there's a get, guy on uh, Facebook I follow, uh, Jason Eaton. He's probably one of the best builders and painters I've seen. Uh, he he does stuff for sideshow sideshow collectibles. He does master paint works for them. Uh, it's, it's just really good builder. Uh, he's working on the Remora right now, and he's got all sorts of cool details he added. So there are the instructions. Again, picture of the finished kit, and let's see how this looks. Like I said, very well wrapped, all bubble wrapped. There's a bunch of the smaller parts. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because I don't want to lose anything. But uh, casting looks really nice. Uh, so we got some engine details. Looks like we got some rudder and like look at this, really nice. Good details. The rivets look really nice and sharp. Uh, looks good. Bunch of detail pieces. All right, here's the engine. We'll pop we'll pop that out of the bag. It's relatively big, so I don't I won't lose that. See how that looks. Very nice. Looks really sharp. A slight mold line right there, no biggie. A little bit of flash, you know, right there. There's a gate. Looks really good. Super smooth. Very nice. Looks good. Uh, here's some more detail pieces. Again, looks really good. Uh, it's a round piece. Um, there's a little mold line there. No biggie again. 
really good. Minimal cleanup, minimal sanding on those guys. Make sure this is the exhaust or the smokestack. Looks good. Here is the hull. Really nice. The, deep, the rivets are really nice and sharp. Panel lines are good. Um, just, a, you know, the gates right there. A little bit of sanding. And this, that guy's cleaned up. And then here is the front of the ship. So when that gets cleaned up, this will marry into there. Like this somehow. Not sure exactly yet because, I don't know. Anyway, I'll go together. So, it's, you know, it's not that huge. I mean, it's not big. It's probably, I don't know, seven inches long or so. Nice detail there. And, again, with this kit, you get a lot of photo etch. And you get that one deck. I'm not going to open this. Here's the wheelhouse. And a bunch of little details. Nicely done. Here's the wooden deck. And here's a bunch of photo etch details here. Some brass wire. Looks like there's some masks in there. Or maybe that's uh, it's probably um, clear plastic for the windows is my guess. Looks good. And that's it. That's the whole kit. <laughs> so pretty quick unboxing. Uh, initial thoughts. It's real nice. Um, so you know, because I have nothing else to work on. God knows. I have no kits to work on. Nothing to build. <laughs> I bought more. <laughs> so there's the first one for the night. So I'm just going to do these three quick little videos. Show you guys some of uh, the stuff that Mike offers. Um, again, I'll put a link to his website, Industrial Mechanica, down, down below. You can also uh, contact him on Facebook, either under Industrial Mechanica or Michael Fichtemeyer. Um, I suggest going through the Industrial Mechanica since that's his business and I believe his other Facebook page is his personal page so um, you know contact him that way again uh, he's, he's also a really uh, nice guy uh, anytime I've had any questions if, as far as building goes um, techniques because he builds uh, completely different than I build he's, he's a I mean he's a great builder I mean way better than I am um, but he he really specializes in weathered, steampunk, um, those type of techniques. Um, he used to do uh, quite a bit of uh, Gunpla, Gund Gundam building. And uh, he kind of steered away from that a couple years ago. And has really just made a name for himself with uh, Industrial Mechanica. You know, selling really nice quality kits at a really decent price, actually. These kits were not expensive uh, for what you get. Um, so, and I got it within, uh, I think it mailed out Monday, so I got it within three days. So, priority shipping. All right, so we'll put that one back in the box. And again, that's the Waldo. Uh, I can't remember the price off the top of my head. Maybe it's like $115 or something like that. It's around 100 bucks, but uh, well worth it. All right, stay tuned for video number two.